Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the Army of Two Run. We're going to play a legendary Iron Man uh, campaign with only two soldiers at a time. And uh, this is the next mission. I'm actually pretty happy because the last uh, Covered Ops mission was the very, very first mission on this entire run that we uh, managed to successfully pull off. And maybe now we even get uh, Praetor Mox back, which I'm not so terribly concerned about, to be honest. Um, I'm more concerned about leveling our troops at the moment. And uh, we will bring the first quote-unquote Bond couple, um, Trana um, Outrider, Dragonova. Um, uh, so she's going to be the scout here. And Edgar Allan Poe, who's going to be the sniper. Both of them have a Bond, which I am very excited to, uh, to test out. Should actually help us quite a bit in order to get Praetor out of uh, the um, out of uh, the prison. Well, I am pretty sure that we don't want to fight. We're mostly going to bypass pretty much everything because once we're starting the fight, uh, we're going to see a steep incline in um, in the alarm level, and once the alarm level reaches, I think ten. Uh, hell is going to break loose and a lot of reinforcements are going to come in. We actually don't want to deal with all of that. If I remember correct, just need to be a bit stealthy. The latest intel has our operative being held in the main structure just ahead. We have the advantage of stealth here, so we should try to get in and out as quietly as possible. If the enemy spots us, this is going to get a whole lot harder. These two okay, the enemy's not supposed to spot us. As long as we keep them close to each other in the field, they'll reap various tactical benefits as their bond continues to grow. There we go. He already spotted the first enemy. And you can see their actual alarm range is so super small because we're currently at security level 1. Unless I'm completely running it down and, and running into an enemy, that here shouldn't be any problem. We have Firebrand on standby for evac, Commander, but as soon as she gets in range, the whole compound will go on high alert. We should hold back unless we have the target, or it's an absolute emergency. Alright, continuing to move in. The invaders send a patrol. Oh, hello! Those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. So here's the deal. Once we get him, Sky Ranger will be coming in from like any specific direction. Could be over here, which pretty much sucks because naturally you would think that the sniper uh, should be positioned just here, and we're kind of minding our own business, just getting him out, and that's about it. Well, not so much in this case. Our huge advantage here is we're not on a timed mission, so might as well take it slow and steady. Towers are a bit more aggressive in their spot range. And how would we get on top here? Apparently that's a bit more difficult. Let's find out. Trust 
from here. Using Dragon over here liberally as a scout, really. Just out of curiosity. Ooh, nice. We could remote start something. 12 points of damage. Nothing to sneeze at. I'm not sure if the Claymore mine would be strong enough to explode the cell from, from the back. <laughs> that would actually be funny. But if it would backfire, it wouldn't be that funny because the the cellular structure, I know that they can break up. Cellular structure is actually a bit more uh, sturdy than the normal structure. As you order, Commander. So it's not that easy to just break it up. So if we can get the sniper to the rooftop, we're going to be in a very, very secure position. there interesting once we would have him I would take a very very wild guess and say that either over here or over here we're going to see the Sky Ranger to come in, which means it done. if we can open one of these walls and just slip out, that would be very helpful. So I'm going to prepare that now. Moving to here. I will be positioned. And let's try. To let the letter still stay intact. That would be awesome. Soon our prey will fall. There we go. Claim more applied. Yeah, we don't have the immediate kill, right? No, we don't. We're not going to go back to shadows once we kill someone. Orders can 
So would we be able to hit the Claymore from here? Yes. Claymore is most likely going to destroy some of the wall. Most likely. Okay, Claymore's ready. That's a great idea to remote start something, but we don't want to do that yet. Although I must admit it's actually really intriguing to just blow away everything here. It's fine. Once we're hacking the cell, I would imagine that hell is going to break loose. And the Sky Ranger would be coming in as well. So we're going to do that, of course, as the first action and not at the end of the turn. Um, starting the hack. Unlock the door without triggering the security protocols. That would be cool, but I have my doubts that that's going to work. Of course it isn't. Firebrand is in position and the compound is on full alert. Time to move. Well, hello there. So good to meet you. I think we need to get this guy out of here. And I have the distinct feeling that's not going to happen easily. Hmm. So. There's a tower here. Let me think that through. Probably should have uh, brought a healing kit with me. Yeah, but she, she doesn't have any uh, slots, so that wouldn't have uh, worked. I'm a bit skeptical that I've just given over the teamwork ability. Probably should have just moved in, have hidden myself. Um, which means that they wouldn't have detected me, at least not right away. 
and next turn uh, I would have had three three movement actions. Well, too bad. Can't change it now. It is what it is. Um, so we're going to conceal ourselves here. We are moving in. Closing the door. Picking up the unit. I think that's pretty much it. Next turn we are probably going to storm out. And trying to see how far we can get here. Okay. Okay, let's go. The compound has reached maximum alert status. They put out a distress signal and we're already picking up multiple inbound transports. Revealed ourselves and evac'd ourselves at the same time. Oh, that is interesting. Look at it. So we opened the wall, but we didn't open the wall. <laughs> okay. Where to move to here? That would be the tower. But we would still be in full cover. There's one more enemy here. Everyone else would not be able to shoot at us. And from here I can sprint. It's probably the best I can do. We are in full cover, so the tower should be able to hit us. It's a really bad score in hitting. Yeah, that, that was bad. I didn't know that he wasn't triggered yet. Of course, he can move and then move again. Sky Ranger calls still cooling down. I understand. Yeah, I could have played that a bit better. Learn something. Now the wall is open. 
Sometimes you just need patience. The one extra round until the wall opens. Well, could have been just a bit better. I got another mission under the belt. And it's only 11 days. I was hoping we could kill maybe one or two to get a bit more experience. But it shouldn't have been. Not during this mission. Well, anyways, we got the skirmisher and let's at least an extra body in our um, in our in our force. Anyways, let's continue. Gosh, I'm a bit I'm a bit annoyed about myself that I fucked up uh, the extraction so bad. Nice, all mission timers are increased by two turns. That's actually a pretty uh, good order. Two additional turns for mission uh, timers is something that we are currently suffering. Oh, nice. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials. Well, that is going to be an interesting mission because the game realizes we are short on supplies. It offers us a mission to change that. And we will need to see whom we anyway uh, whom we have. I'm I'm even twice as mad now because supply rise rates are one of the very few missions where um, you basically have no given timer and having a sniper plus plus dragon over here with a remote start ability that would have been so good yeah hindsight 2020 i suppose anyways we're going to see this in the next uh in the next run so far we had more success than i would have expected so it's it's going quite well um, and I am mildly hopeful that we can make it to the end game. All right. Uh, see you all in the next mission. And please don't forget to uh, like and uh, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.